All right, so I'm back finally. I think I've been away for six days now. Where I've had like really poor days and just like bad attitude and you know, all the works. But I tried this white 8A Plus yesterday and was blown away and I think it's really cool. So we're gonna hop in and work on that for a little bit. I think I've gotten pretty much all the moves. So now it's just gonna be a process of linking it all together. Cool, so same as Proj. The crux is definitely actually like a lot of the problem. The easiest part is kind of the top, but you start on these two and then you set your both of your feet, pull in and go right hand up, and then you just kind of like swivel around and throw your left arm onto that hold there, and at the same time throw your right foot up here and get it. But then you have to set back up, bump right hand around the edge, and then set your hands up, do some like foot knee shenanigans, hit, the, hit like a big sloper hole, and then go to the top. Nice, dude. Looking strong. Ooh. I don't know. I think I need to move my right foot up before I go over. Because as it is now, like the left foot is so poor, I just kind of like barn door off and pop, which feels, you know, super desperate. So I think if I bump my right foot up and then do the left arm, it'll feel a little bit more solid. Come on, Strong. That's so hard because neither of those holds are good and it's like only good because your body weight is to the left side but then as soon as you have to pop out that's a sloper and that is just like the crimp is non-existent but when you have weight downwards it feels okay so as soon as you kind of go out your center of gravity just like pops away from the wall and I still haven't figured it out yet so I'm gonna try going up Instead of going right around the box, go left up to that first hold and see if that might work. But I'm not sure it's going to leave me in a better situation or not. Come on, dude. Nope. Nope. No way, my feet are too low. Like, there's no press for me there. So I'm just like this, but. There's like, there's no range of motion, so I'm just like trapped up here. I'm feeling a little bit discouraged for sure. It's, I get the first move like super high, uh, pretty much every time. But then it's the second move afterwards that I'm having some trouble with. And then the next sequence just feels undoable. Because I move my feet up and feels pretty unstable. And then I have to bump my right hand around the edge and catch it. But it just feels like, un like it doesn't feel like it's going to go for me. So I'll see if I can figure out some other beta. But it's also, the feet are super low, so it feels so desperate because kind of as soon as I move anything around, my feet are the first thing to pop off. So we'll see what we can do. Apollo 69.
Apollo 69. Not so much luck with this today, but I figured that I've been looking for a new project and I've definitely found it. Kind of right up my alley, large moves on pretty bad holds, so I think it will definitely show up in then a couple more episodes, I think. But yeah, just figured that you guys would enjoy seeing like kind of what I'm projecting right now and how I go about working roots and that kind of stuff. But after we're on to work soon, so I'm gonna give it one more burn and then call it a day. Come on, dude. Today. Oof, it just like shreds my fingertips. Give another try another time. Alright guys, so thanks for watching again and I've definitely got two or three moves to work on before we come back to this, but I gotta go to work now, but thanks for watching and you know as always drop us a comment, give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more like this. Come on, Nick. Come on. Sure.